Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to Zarzu. This will be episode 9 in the series, and today we are going to round out the rest of the North America area by adding a timber wolf habitat. And we're going to put it right here. Uh, and what we want to do is, first of all, look to see um, what type of barrier they want. So we want timber wolf. And we're going to need grade to 1.25 meters okay so the next thing i want to know is where i want to put stuff i think we will have another i think i'm now in the camp that i do want to have these platforms because people have really been enjoying this you can get really good views and over in here the arctic wolf well they don't have that right now but as opposed to over here can't really see, can't really see. A lot of them feel in those areas that they can't see. So we're gonna go ahead and have a path in here. We're gonna do it the same way we've done the other ones. And we're gonna come in here. Let's do that. And come right out into the center here. And we're going to align to the grid. Have a look out. Perfect. That is what I want. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit and then we will get started on some of the details here. Okay, now barriers. We're going to go ahead with an electric barrier here. Because I don't know, oh, because that one had to be stronger, but a grade two we can do with electric here. And we're going to keep this at, let's say, these people are like dancing or waving for they're like waving about something the zoo is terrible help me what are oh you're stuck here how are you stuck you're still stuck all right well i have no idea what that issue is about wasn't that way when i started playing today or like when I first opened it up and before today. Okay, well, I restarted and now things are working a little bit better, but that is really weird. We're gonna have to watch that. Okay, but anyway, the, the barrier is in place. Let's get a door, habitat gate, and I want that over in here, like that. And then I am going to add yet another keeper hut just in case and we'll come back to that another time right now i just want to get this habitat built okay so we're going to come in here and add it to the work zone there we go Okay, and then we're going to get some animals. Twelve males, twelve females, so we can have a really big group. Okay, there we go. Then the next thing we're going to do is kind of do our usual terrain work here although i do have a couple of things i want to add in here first we have let me just come in here okay so the first thing i want to add is the timber wolf statue by jenner which is this i think it's a cool little statue and we're going to put it right in the corner here like 
that. And then we're going to get rid of this tree. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to deal with those. I think they're having another pathing issue. I think there's... A, I'm getting some glitches and stuff like that. The other thing I want is this Timberwolf Den. Timberwolf Cave and Den by Sir Warbar's Star. Uh, whatever. Something like that. Sir Warbar's Star. If it can fit. Although we need to move those first. I'm going to modify it just a little bit to get these trees inside the space that I have. There we go. So now they have that. Serious injury. Uh, that's what I get for not putting them in quarantine, but let's get the rest of their habitat the way I want it. Okay, there we have the terrain we need there. And we need enrichment and stuff like that. So we're gonna sort by timber wolf. Okay, and then we're going to get a food tray. Put that back there, and then we're going to get some enrichment items over in here. So that should be good for that. And then we just need a little bit more coverage of their plants. And they are temperate taiga. We'll do taiga. So we'll come down here. Nature, continent, North America, I own taiga. We're going to come back to this alert in a little bit. They need better temperature too. And then I really need to figure out what's going on with the... There, okay, so their coverage is now in really good shape, and I think that'll be a pretty good habitat. We do need to come in and we need to get a few things. Where do we have power? We need education in here, and we'll get some habitat stuff there too, or like the, the usual stuff in there. Let's go ahead and we're going to reuse the same one from here. In fact, uh, yeah. And I just remembered that as I was trying to sort out the guest pathing issue, I closed the zoo. So I'm going to open that back up here. Now the only thing we need yet should be these things. I 
And then, of course, the panda bench. Okay, so that should be good now. Uh, I really, I'm really pleased with how that turned out. So now North America is all set. We'll come back to that in a little bit, but let's see if we can figure out what the issues are here. Oh yeah, we need to get, uh, that's like the Arctic Wolf. Temperature, let's check temperature real quick. They want 18 to 84, so that's a pretty wide range. We should be fine. Okay, now, Koala, they can't get here? Is that what's happening? Okay, the keeper can get in there just fine. Keeper huts are full. Okay, let's get another keeper hut in here. Okay, you're wandering. Why aren't you doing anything? You can't get in there. That was a month ago. Okay, maybe they're not making it this way. We had a pet, an issue like this come up before. Or is it like the... They couldn't get down in this area. There he goes. Excellent. Okay. So now hopefully we will fix that. They are dying now, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and call the vet then. We can always get more. But it seems as though now they're able to get into these things. That, for some reason, every once in a while, the pathing there goes bad. The koala has died. All right, well. That's fine. I'll check on that some more later. So those, uh, North America. What I'm going to do yet is I'm going to fill in a little bit more in here, work on some of the terrain and uh, some of the foliage and stuff in the uh, staff area. Here we go, just to give the staff a little bit something more to look at as they're walking around. And I also feel like the, I, mean, I feel like all of these are in pretty good shape now. There's a lot of people over here in the timber wolf habitat. I think it turned out pretty good. So I'll probably put this one on the workshop, but uh, yeah, so that's about it. I hope you liked the video. Uh, another thing I'm going to do off camera this week is probably add a bit more foliage over in this area. This is a guest area. This is the uh, hospital, staff hospital. In fact, I don't think I mentioned what it is yet. The, let's see if I can find it on my list here. Here we have the Modern, uh, large Modern Veterinary Hospital by Irish Epps Lilly. 
And then over here, we have the Realistic Quarantine Center by Kazar. So those are the two buildings that I have back in here. Oh, we have a barn here too. I don't know what, what was the barn? Here, Barn Shelter by Diamond Sky. That's what it is. And then the other thing here that we have is the Backstage Greenhouse by Zeki. So, I mean, we've got a lot of stuff here and I will probably, oh, and then the vegetables. Uh, we have the garden. Raised Veg Garden Pack by Muma Zing. So those are all the things I've got at stage going on back here. I'll probably try and detail some of this as well. Oh, and then of course, the staff utility vehicles by Keyboard Keeper. I believe those are those ones. If not, then, uh, oh, these are the wrong ones. The zoo staff vehicle. Yeah, that's what it is. Zoo staff vehicle by Toaster. So those are what we have in this area. Like I said, I'll probably do a bit of uh, foliage adding back in here just to fill that in a bit. And yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.